Hello everybody, I'm back. Andrea Majeski here. So I worked only twice this week, really nice, but it's amazing how when I come home from work, I'm exhausted. I cannot imagine working full time anymore. Like I am literally so exhausted that I come home and I want to sleep. Um, we don't have any kids yet. We have three dogs. So it's even to the point where I like to take them for a walk after work, but I'm so tired that I can't even do that. And I feel bad. So when we have kids, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll just have to snap out of it, obviously. But yeah, am I the only one who feels so exhausted after work? And it's only a five hour shift, by the way. So I can't complain. And it's a great office. So it's not like I'm overworked either. But yeah, so forgive me if I look exhausted. But I want to talk to you guys today about what do you do, how do you handle, what are some office policies on if a patient shows up late. Now every office will probably tell you it does depend on the case. Um, I've worked in a few offices now, about five different offices, maybe more, where every situation is different. So the office where I was for about 10 years, maybe 12 years, um, their policy was if the patient is 15 minutes late, you might still see them because it depends on their excuse. If they run in and say, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like traffic was horrible. I come from out of town. It took me two hours to get here. I am so sorry. You see them. Okay. You should still see them. Even if they're half an hour late, technically, you should still see them. You might not be able to finish everything, or you might have to tell the receptionist to tell your next patient that you'll be late, but you should still 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 see them if that's kind of how they're acting and if they're from out of town but if you have a patient come in who's like 20 minutes late hey I'm here for my appointment I'm just gonna use the washroom let make sure that the receptionist and there's not always much that you can do about this even if you tell the receptionist but if they don't do it they don't do it make sure that the receptionist you know says to them you're 20 minutes late. Um, I don't know if the hygienist can see you. Let me double check. So then that way the patient knows that we know that you just strolled in here 20 minutes late. Okay. This is why you are behind because patients are late. Okay. And to rude patients, I tell them that. Um, I think I did a video about this a week ago where if the patient is rude that you're 10 minutes behind, say to them, well, my first patient showed up half an hour late. They were rude, so we had to see them, and I didn't get a lunch today, so sorry for keeping you waiting. Don't say it in that tone, but that's what you can say. Um, so it does depend on, on the patient. I've been working for 14 years, so if a patient's 20 minutes late and just kind of strolls in, I will not see them. I will not see them. If it's for a cleaning appointment, if for some reason, like they need to be seen or they want to be seen, then I'll just do whatever I can in what time is left. It could be two quadrants and that's it, but that's what I will do and then I will charge them accordingly. If it's a cleaning and checkup, then I will bring them in. They will have their checkup. I will take x-rays if needed, but that's it because I'm not going to be behind because they were late and they couldn't come on time. I'm about 20 minutes early for everything. So I don't understand why people show up late. Things happen though. You know, things do happen. So if they come in though, and they haven't have an, they have an honest excuse like, Oh my goodness, I totally forgot. I rushed here. You know, somebody almost hit, hit, hit my car, you know, like things were just crazy. I am so, so sorry. Then I will do as much as I can. No problem. But in the time that I have allowed, if the patient comes in and they're kind of rude or they're being mean, then I will just do what I want. And it's probably a, or I'm sorry, it's probably the checkup, the x-rays, that's it. Um, I will not, you know, force myself to, to be like rush, rush, rush. I'll just do whatever I can and oh, well, too bad, so sad, you know, kind of thing. It's true. I'm sorry if that sounds harsh and you might be going, oh my goodness, I would never talk like that or think like that. But you will after 14 years. <laughs> you will, trust me. So, but some, some office policies though are, is that you see the patient no matter what. So that's up to you. If that's the office policy, then you have to see the patient no matter what, but hopefully you can still only do as much as you can and then bring them back for the rest. If you do have to do everything, because some office policies do say that, then you will be very behind and you will be cranky and you probably don't want to work there for much longer. I worked in an office as a temp um, 
silly me is I signed up for about three shifts a week for a month because they needed somebody. I needed the money at the time. So I'm like, sure. The office was horrible. And this was one of the things that was their policy was we see the patient no matter what. If a patient comes on in and thinks they had, they had an appointment and they didn't, I, I would be seeing two patients at the same time. So I would be seeing one patient I would be hurrying in into the next room while the dentist checked that one patient and then starting the cleaning on the other patient. So I would be behind completely. And the, the crazy thing about that office was I would be working like crazy, okay? Like crazy, like a Panorex on every patient if they hadn't had one in three years, um, bite wings on every patient. And if I ran 15 minutes behind at the end of the day, they would come in and say to me, oh, you're 15 minutes behind. You know, we, we only pay you 15 minutes past, right? Even though I've been seeing two patients sometimes throughout the day, I've been 20 minutes behind all day. I didn't get a lunch. I could barely take my notes yet. Oh, you have to be out of here by 730. It's 729. No, thank you. No, nothing. So I left that office quickly. Okay. Um, I've always been a professional, so I did do the rest of my shifts, but it was horrible. Like it was actually horrible. Like I didn't look forward to going to work. I hated it. Um, so yeah. So the nice thing about my experiences is I've had good experiences. I've had bad experiences. I've had, I've had quite a lot. So that's why I like to talk about it. So I hope this helped about your late patient and what to do. Um, send me a message in the comments and let me know how you handle late patients and what your policy is because I would love to hear. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.